Now this training camp in January, we do really some intense work. And one of the trainings is, for example, on working on threshold, three climbs of 20 minutes, ride them up on threshold. Threshold work is very important that you really do it individual. You do like a really in a lab a test where you also find your different zones. Then you, you find the mix of these two and then you give your riders your different levels and then you send them out on the road. Either you need to do threshold work, in my opinion, uphill and on the flat. It's no point that you can only try to find your threshold in a climb. You also need to find your threshold on the flat roads. Another training drill that we do is sometimes like a, a, from a big gear to a small gear. Like really do like a power effort from a couple of minutes and then try to speed up to a higher frequency, maybe from 50 frequency up to about 110 frequency. That's also like for a sprint, uh, cadence is, is very important that you have a high cadence that you can really accelerate on, on when the peloton do certain moves. I think first of all, it's motivation. Yeah, like you do a team meeting in the morning and you need to say to your riders, okay, we, we try to be in the breakaway. In my opinion, you cannot do that on your own. You need to be with a group of riders that you can go one by one into the breakaway. That means it's like a start stop. Uh, attacking like it's from stand still almost, try to go into a breakaway. So that's like these short sprints. For that we do like one minute efforts like on 90% and you try to do that like every 10 minutes you do a one minute effort like on 90% of your max. So that means if you can do that every 10 minutes and you do that with a full, full team you almost cannot miss the breakaways. Uh, also we do some specific competition training drills like uh, try to find out who are the possible sprinters in the team who could really be the last lead out person and then try to uh, copy like a, a race situation because you have guys who are sometimes really really strong but they, they cannot do the descent so there's no point they lose all their time that they gain so really some drills to follow a better climber training drills to to have better descending we are very fortunate to have sean kelly uh, as part of the team i think he was one of the best descenders in the in the world so when he's coming a few times, uh, joining us for the training ride, uh, he's taking the lead and really talk to the guys who are not really good descenders, follow him, follow his lines, see what he do when the corner's coming. And that's for us uh, like a big advantage that we can give to our riders.